Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I'm going to be uh, reviewing Star Wars Rebels Season 2, Episode 3, The Lost Commanders, which was directed by Dave Filoni and uh, Sergio Paz, which was written by Matt Mitchovitz, and it was released on October 14th, 2015, which I thought was another good episode. In it we see the return of uh, Rex and the other clones, Wolf and Gregor, because uh, at the start of the episode we see the Rebels are looking for a new base to uh, house Phoenix Squad, which Ahsoka says she knows someone who could help them out, but she's lost contact with them, but knows a way to find them, which is by heading to the uh, Celios system and using this uh, Separatist tactical droid head to kind of find the person she's talking about. But uh, she also reveals that she's not coming along with the Ghost Crew as she wants to, I guess, look into stuff about Vader. But she tells Kanan to trust her friend. But the ghost crew get over to planet Celos. And I guess the ghost needs some uh, repairs. So Hera and Chopper stay in orbit to fix the ghost up. While Kanan, Hera, and Sabine and uh, Zeb uh, take the Phantom down to the planet. Where they hook up the tactical droid head. And it just starts saying the numbers 7567. Which then leads them to a, a modified ATT. So... They land near, and then Rex, Wolf, and Gregor come out and greet them, which Kanan isn't happy to see clones, but Ezra gets Kanan to uh, calm down, and Rex reveals that they removed their chips. But uh, Ezra also uh, asks uh, Rex to uh, join the fight against the Empire, which he refuses, but does agree to help them out uh, in finding a location for a rebel base. And uh, then throughout the episode, one of my favorite things was uh, seeing Kanan's, uh, you know, distrust in the clones and uh, him opening up to Ezra about Order 66 and, you know, therefore the clones and how they killed his master, which I really enjoyed the, you know, the exact moment when that happens. But then uh, seeing Rex uh, kind of overhear it and then reassure to Kanan that he didn't turn on his Jedi, which I guess from a certain point of view that is the truth. Obviously, at the time when this episode aired, we hadn't seen the uh, Siege of Mandalore episodes from uh, the Clone Wars yet, as they wouldn't come out for another uh, several years. So now we, you know, have those episodes, and so we know the truth of what happened exactly. So Rex isn't fully telling the truth, but I guess he kind of is. But, you know, I, I still enjoyed the moment. But we end up seeing that Kanan's distrust in the clones is somewhat justified, as we do learn that one of the clones has uh, reported the ghost crew to the Empire, which we see uh, Callus uh, being alerted about it and then sending a uh, probe droid to Celos to, you know, look into it. But then a uh, good bit of the episode is uh, the clones and the ghost crew uh, hunting down a uh, Jopa, which are these big creatures, which I found it to be fun, but, you know, not as interesting as the stuff with Kanan and the clones. But uh, we see Gregor uh, trick Zeb into uh, being the bait for it. Which he makes it like Zeb is the uh, hunter. He, he also tricks uh, the others of the ghost crew into believing that also. But uh, Gregor doesn't reveal that truth until it's too late. Which I did find it uh, funny and whatnot. But uh, Zeb gets eaten by the creature. And so we then see the ghost crew and the clones... Uh, kind of attack it and whatnot, and eventually take it down, which Kanan then asks, you know, for the info on the locations, which Rex agrees to, but uh, uh, asks them to first stay for dinner, which this was like during the moment right after they take down the creature, which uh, then there's another moment of uh, Zeb kind of getting out of it, kind of angry about how they tricked him, but uh, Gregor then tells him to look at it, and that's their biggest catch yet, which... Makes Zeb feel good and then completely change his tune. You know, being like, oh yeah, that was great. I, I really loved uh, doing that, which I found that moment uh, funny. But uh, afterwards, we see Rex tell Ezra and Sabine that he's collected up all the locations, but they're going to need to use their own data tapes. So Sabine goes and does that, which then there's a nice moment between uh, Ezra and Rex, which Rex is kind of telling Ezra, about being a leader and whatnot, and how he thinks Ezra has those uh, leader qualities, I guess. But uh, Ezra once again ask, uh, asks 
Rex to uh, join them. But Rex says everything after the Clone Wars kind of made him rethink fighting, which I enjoyed all that. But uh, we then see Sabine notice that the clones have contacted the Empire, which she then takes to the others, which Rex is uh, surprised by this, noticing uh, messages from Ahsoka he never knew he uh, received also, which is when uh, Wolf kind of reveals that he did it and he did it to protect them, which Rex tells them that, you know, they don't need to fear the Empire anymore and that nothing would have happened if he didn't uh, warn them. But uh, Kanan then tells Sabine to uh, go warn Hera, which is when she finds the uh, probe droid uh, the Empire sent after them because it's been uh, snooping around the ATTE and has uh, now destroyed the Phantom, or not really destroyed, but kind of busted it up a bit, so... It won't be able to start and uh, fly away. But uh, when, when Sabine notices the uh, probe droid, the probe droid starts to run away. So Kanan chases after it. But we see Rex uh, use the blaster rifle to take it down, showing his loyalty to them and, you know, not the Empire. Which the episode ends with the ghost crew stranded on the planet with the Empire coming. And so, you know, they kind of have to get ready to, uh, you know, most likely face them. So, you know, like I said, I thought it was a good episode. I enjoyed everything with uh, Kanan, Rex, and the clones. You know, Kanan's distrust with them and whatnot. And, you know, Rex kind of trying to show, you know, some sort of loyalty to Kanan. But, uh, you know, a, a good chunk of uh, the episode was um, them hunting down the uh, Jopa, which was fun. But, you know, I enjoyed everything with, you know, else uh, more than uh, that. But, you know, I do like it kind of showing what the everyday life has been like for the clones uh, living on uh, Celos. But, uh, you know, still, I thought it was a good episode. I quite liked it. So, my great, I'm going to give it a, a B plus. So, yeah, but that's going to be it for this one. Next, I'll review episode four, Relics of the Old Republic, which is kind of a uh, part two of uh, this episode. So, you can check that out then. But... In the meantime, check out all my other uh, Rebels reviews and everything else I do. But I've been Star Wars with you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.